Investment bankers, at least some of them, will have to wait a little bit longer before they get word on what their bonuses will look like. Barclays has delayed the final decision on its bonus pool to early next year. And this is because remain top investment bankers there, say M&A and other activity, it's been picking up and they want the bonus pool to reflect this new business. If they just decided on it now, it yeah. wouldn't encompass all of that. Well, they're not wrong. I mean, the Bloomberg data kind of bears that out, mm -hmm. at least in aggregate, that we have seen a significant pickup here. But I was confused because when I saw the story, I was like, why wouldn't they normally Normally take that into account. Is there like a cutoff where they basically say anything that happens in December doesn't take anything? Because I I then I would just, you talk about taking off for August and you just take off the month of December if you're not yeah. going to get paid for it. Well, I mean, I, the bigger problem yeah. is that it's been very slow on the M&A front for most of this year. Yeah. And now it's starting to percolate, it's starting to pick up at yeah. the end of the year. And so they are trying to make sure that that gets reflected to make up for the fact that it was kind of slow yeah. for the rest of the year. I was being a little facetious. Obviously, there's a lot of rollover into that. So, I mean, it's not like they would lose the money. It would just kind of go into the 2025. Yeah, but that would delay bonus. your moving on to the right, next but firm. exactly, and that's really what this is about. But it's also really about a, uh, a retention as well yes. here. And we know there has been a huge competition. We were having a debate a little bit earlier about uh, private capital mm -hmm. and the relationship with banks. And I mean, how many folks have we seen leave the more traditional yeah. side of finance to go into private capital? Because quite frankly, you're just going to make more money. Yeah, and there's no regulators staring at you, going over your numbers, checking your phone, checking your records in the same way that the SEC does that right now. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how these banks adjust to the new environment and how they sort of structure compensation in a way that keeps people happy and more importantly keeps them there. You wonder if any Barclays traders are not going to go away on vacation at the, you know, at the end of December to make sure that, you know, all this new activity <laughs> gets folded into their bonus pool? Well, we'll see. I don't know. They only got, what, a, a week, a week and a half or yeah, so left a lot in the year get done. Here. And this is all mostly investment bankers, too. So yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, they're, they're always a pretty fickle bunch anyway. Do they even come into the office anymore? I, I feel I, like you they know, they're just, supposed to be yeah. chasing down clients and shaking hands and meeting face to face. So, yeah. Yeah. Some of my best friends are investment bankers. Are they going to the office? No. <laughs> All right, that doesn't. I don't want to get anyone in trouble here. <laughs> All right. What do we have going on here? Uh, we're checking on the markets here. About a half an hour to go here in the trading day. Stick it's a with rally. us. Yeah, it's a rally, a modest rally here. He hasn't gotten back all the losses from yesterday here, but definitely a, a certain welcome rebound here, even if the volume is a tad light. 